Hi beauties, today I want to do my Fenty review. <laughs> so if you're as excited as I am, keep watching. So you guys know that if you watch my re-review, um, you guys know that I had no intention of buying this foundation. Okay, I had no intention. I thought if someone gave it to me, yeah, absolutely I would use it. Of course, I would review it on my channel, etc., etc. And I thought, you know, by the time I got my hands on this, who would care? But anyways, I'm gonna do it anyways, just because anyways. So, I happen to follow um, a YouTuber called Let's Glam More. And one day in her live chat, she was doing giveaways because Rihanna launched and she literally bought all the shades. Now, she's a chocolate beauty, so a whole bunch of people got makeup because <laughs> she bought all the shades, I think. And so I won this one. Woo! So I've got Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And this is in the shade 430. The thing is that I don't know if this is truly my shade because when they swatch you at Sephora, they literally like take one pump on the little thing and they swipe it until it disappears into your skin anyways. But we don't wear foundation like that over here, okay? We pack that junk on, okay? And we got acne, okay? So we color correcting it everything. But anyways, I said, let me try it just because um, we had doubts as to whether or not it would cover the acne and that's the reason why I wanted to review it. And you guys can see, I, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna do a true test here just to see how much it covers. Maybe I'll just do it here where I color correct and then put the foundation over the top and see how that works with all my regular steps. Anyways, I hope it's my color. I'm so excited. All right. So this is the shade 430. And I'm going to, maybe I should just pump it on my face in case it splashes. So that's what it looks like out of the bottle. Which, I don't know why people do foundation swatches. I'm sorry. Because you don't wear foundation like this. Like, I don't get it. So anyways, I'm going to... Let me use a brush. Only because I usually put on my foundation with a brush. So I want it to be as true, true to my usual process as possible. Y'all like my braided wig? And see if it's even gonna cover. So I'm gonna stipple. It feels nice. It looks like my color, but they say that it like, does it look like my color? I don't even know. It's a wee bit dark, which we could tell from in the store that it was a little bit dark, but um, I'm going in for a second layer. We could tell from in the store that it was a little bit dark, but I do have, Mac Match Master in 8.0, which is a little bit light for me. So I just took this, well, one, because they didn't have the 420. And that was slightly ashy, and I felt like the 420 would give me the, sh the same effect as this Mac that's too light. But, um, y'all, it's covering though. I mean, this is no color corrector, no primer, no nothing. And it's covering. I can like see the imperfections through it, but I feel like it, I like I'm sure. I feel like it covers more than the Maybelline Fit Me that I've been using, the Maybelline Fit Me MAC Poreless. I feel like it covers more than that. It's pretty nice. And it's dry, I think. But my neck is a different color, so this is like a really bad. <laughs> like after the acne, I just got like a yellow undertone. But yeah, look at that. See that acne spot? I just put the foundation on. Let's see if it covers that. And I, I always stipple, it gives me more coverage. That's just what, y'all look. 
I feel like if I color correct, like it's gonna work. The only thing is if it's my shade. But I feel comfortable enough to wear just this. You know, I tend to like a cooler look. So if it's a little bit too dark, I'm okay. But yeah, I took this because I knew I had this that I could like fiddle around with it. But they didn't have 420 anyway, so I ain't had no choice. I like the smell. It has a smell, y'all. What does it smell like? Does it smell like rose water? Does it smell like... I wish I could open it. Does this thing open? It don't open. What? What you mean you don't open? I guess once the pump gets to here, you gotta go buy more because you can't like open it and knock it out like what I do. <laughs> like what I do. That's interesting. But it's like, I like the smell. It smells like like when I was in Barbados and I was in secondary school and you were like going to college pharmacy, you were going to the local or most popular pharmacy and they had, y'all back then Sasha Buttercup was what you used to buy when you had no money. Tell me how. You used to buy your little Sasha and your little Clairol and whatever. And I feel like it, it smelled like this, like this smelled like a throwback. I don't know how to explain this. Y'all, I like this. It looks like skin. It looks like skin. And I don't like flaws. I don't like flaws, and that's the reason why I color correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. In my usual manner, because I did not buy the Pro Filter. You know what was amazing, guys? I'm so excited because they've been out of stock. They've been out of stock with this foundation for so long, right? I won this from Glam's Corner. Oh, I said let's glammore.com. The YouTuber's YouTube channel is Glam's Corner. Her website is let's glammore.com. And I bought the hair in my frontal. I don't know. I didn't know if anybody was interested in the frontal video, how to make a frontal wig. So I kind of didn't do anything with the footage. It's just sitting in my um, file. But that was the hair I used um, and I've been wearing in all my Christmas. And But I bought them from her. That's just a sidebar. Um, but yeah, they were out of stock so long that by the time they went back in stock in January, I got a birthday present. I got a birthday present. Yeah, I was really excited. Really, really, really. It spreads a lot further when I use a primer though. I see that. I mean, you guys could probably see it too. Like that one pump didn't just do this area. Guys. I like it so much better. Look at this. Like this, I think if you have amazing skin, you can just use this, boom. But then, at the same time, if you have amazing skin, you could probably just use a BB cream. Do you know? Do you know what I'm saying, honey? But yeah, um, I guess that's the review. I like how it feels. I like how it looks. I like how it looks better with the color corrector my face looks more smooth and more even and it's probably because i have a primer on with a primer it spreads further so with this costing 35 dollars you might want to invest in a where's my thingy you might want to invest in a little three four dollar primer to make your 35 dollar product stretch so there's that i like the color corrected look my skin looks more even it covers more, but I mean, 
it don't even cover that much more with a color corrector. I feel like the foundation did an amazing job on its own. Like as far as liquid foundations go, you know? Like, it's not a cream, it's not a stick. Like, my best friend and I were just talking because the black opal stick covers. Like, that stuff covers. No color corrector needed. <laughs> you know, but I can't wear that because I'm just too oily and it slides off my face now. Guys, I'm super impressed. And I'm so happy that I got my shade. But I'm gonna remove this do my color correcting, a full application, and I will see you guys. I guess I'll make it like a like a get ready with me, like just a short video with like music in the background. Cause I don't really have anything to say. But. I'm excited, excited. I can't help it. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks for watching my review on the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wearing Foundation. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, it's the one coming up, but if not, it can be the one before this. All right. Um, bye, guys.